Okay, hello YouTube. Um, welcome back to another video, I guess, because I haven't really talked to you guys in this video yet. So I figured I'd just do some voiceovers like I usually do. So this was like our kind of warm up type stuff. So we rode this bending line, which was supposed to be a collected six to another collected six, but the first six rode like regular for us. So I got a seven and a six there, so we just came right back around and rode it again, and I just took a little bit more inside track and a little bit bigger stride, and it came out really well. And then we were doing <laughs> this line on the diagonal, so we picked up our walk to canter and then had to trot into this line for a collected five. And so this five came up pretty easy for us. And then we just came around and rode the bending line the other way. And I just included this because I thought it was kind of funny. Um, he tripped before the jump, and then he tripped before the jump again. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, obviously we came around and rode it again, picked up my walk to canter. Not super graceful, but that's okay. And then came through this corner, went back down to the trot. And I just tried to um, have a little bit less pace in this line because it came up so easy before. So it was a little bit gappier out, but I like that on him. And then obviously we came right back down this bending line. The first six was, like I said, a little bit more collected and then uh, steady um, for the out. And then this was our first full course, so we came right back up the bending line, again six to six, just getting him to use his track a little bit better. And then we came down the diagonal line in a forward four, um, so I just kind of picked up my pace a little bit, and it rode really well, I kind of had to ride up, but I don't mind that ride on him. And then down through my corners and just sitting and collecting a little bit more because we had this little gymnastics, which was a bounce to a two. This little vertical is really good about that. And then we came down this Cavaletti and then bending to a single oxer. So I kind of rode up to a quieter distance and let my legs swing a little bit, but he got the lead change. And then we did again, put the jumps up. Uh, same thing, six to six. And then came through the corner. I was a little bit nervous because this was like our first time jumping big, at least in a long time. So I rode up and he just wasn't expecting it to be taller, so I don't really care. He just kind of knocked it with his front feet. And then coming through this corner, I really kind of let our pace die and came in with the chip and he saved my ass. So I don't care about that rail at all. I trotted and gave him a pat and then we continued on down this bending line again um he's a really good boy i know and then just sat up to this oxer which he jumped the crap out of um and then we just came back and re-rode the line again so you can kind of see i got a really quiet distance in and it was kind of a really long four and i kind of gave up on it he is a really good boy <laughs> and i will never take that for granted so then we just wanted to do the gymnastic um, as well because I kind of fucked it up the first time or the last time and that worked out really really well and so we came right back down the line I kind of just came in with a lot better pace and he jumped it really really well and I was really happy with this lesson um, I feel like we've been progressing a lot lately and I'm really really happy with him you are such a good boy Thank you so much for watching. Sorry this video is kind of short. Um, I just didn't have much going on the rest of the week to vlog. Um, however, we will be showing down at Thermal in February, so that's a little bit away, but 
Otherwise, I will keep you guys updated with some barn vlogs. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.